The goal is to have a fully prepared dev environment in seconds. The environment is configured based on a dev container with automations to easily run common workflows. Start by choosing a repository and environment class to launch your first environment. You'll then configure it and save it as a project. You've then created a blueprint so that your team can self-serve a one-click experience for their own fully prepared development environment. Let's get started with Dev Container to eliminate the need to manually install tools and dependencies. If you don't have an existing Dev Container in your repository, Gitpod will create a basic example file for you in your environment. As you make changes, you can rebuild your Dev Container by running Gitpod Environment Dev Container Rebuild. With our Dev Container configured, let's look at automations. Automations go beyond Dev Container and are a powerful way to define, automate, and share common workflows that you perform with your development environment, such as seeding databases or running unit tests. Automations are defined in configuration YAML files and updated via the Gitpod CLI that comes pre-installed in your environment. When you're done, run Gitpod Automations Update to register your automations with Gitpod. Commit both your dev container and automation configuration files and hit publish on your project in Gitpod. You've now set up a fully configured project that is your blueprint for a one-click development environment and it's now shared with your team inside your Gitpod organization.